an exam case so i had shared a few little bit of an images from this side, slide particularly i have multiple slides here let's go one by one there's an uh, aspirate from a 45 year old person cervical implant there's a little bit of a fluid so it was centrifuge and we have done a lbc as well as a protein smear as well right so here there are a few things are marked and even in this image you can say it's a very fairly cellular smear with lots of clusters 2d 3d clusters here and if you go and have a look at this cluster it actually looks more like a papillary fragment than a cluster right and if you look background that's the amount of necrosis remember this is a centrifuge sample so necrosis will not be very fluffy and very different it will be concentrated this is how necrosis looks like in a centrifuge sample right and you can see here there's definitely good amount of 3d clustering happening here right look at that papillary like elements and everything i want to actually go to this place where you can see a sheet of cell is very very informative and might also help in coming or clenching to a diagnosis if you look at this the cells are a little bit swirled you can see that there's a streaming or swirling pattern appearing here maybe right and actually i want to concentrate a little bit more okay there are actually pretty super findings here ah, perfect can you look at this 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 that's a beautiful intranuclear infusion right look at this look at this we used to say that if i seen a pap smear of or an fnc of thyroid one intranuclear infusion that is enough for me to maybe come to a diagnosis it's a papillary carcinoma of thyroid this is in a lymph node where you are seeing beautiful multiple intranuclear infusion not that alone what is this can anyone of you guys comment in the below section once you upload the video that's a amazing 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 i want you guys to comment right so here you do see a papillary fragment and there's a tissue fragment with not much of smudged uh, 2d cluster of cells where you can see prominent intranuclear inclusion that actually makes me di uh, diagnose the thing it's a metastatic papillary carcinoma of thyroid but i do have few more slides just for us to look at the beauty of the thing since there's more sample there are few more uh, diagnostic markers also done just let's have a look at that as well right look at this let's zoom in this is not a centrifuge sample is normal smear you can see the papillary architecture here and actually if you can zoom in here maybe if you're lucky enough you might see intranuclear eye uh, as well okay i'm not and we're not able to appreciate some much but it's definitely a papillary cluster see this is your uh, let's just zoom it here this is your endothelium right so you can see the fibrovascular core surrounded by all these cells that's how a papillary cluster looks like this is a elongated endothelial cell and the vascular fragment here fine right? perfect so we definitely know it's a papillary cluster and if you zoom out maybe if you can see some other area where you can appreciate the same iui intranuclear inclusions it will be great i'm not seeing it as clearly what we saw in the previous one but there's definitely good amount of coffee beaning happening here okay 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 it's a cellular smear with lots of tissue fragments some of them having the retained vascular fragments and you do have the coffee bean appearing and uh, in the previous smear we did see good amount of your uh, intranuclear inclusion that makes me diagnose it's a simple case of papillary carcinoma thyroid metastatic papillary carcinoma thyroid but just not like i said we have few more images as well okay it's a superb image superb image if you look at this it's from the Okay, this is primarily done for us to do the IHC, right? I am sure you must have seen uh, all these cell blocks here. This is a cell block where you have the papillary lining of a cluster with lots of uh, uh, debris in the background, right? It's not difficult for you to diagnose here, but I am sure that you must have made the diagnosis here already, right? Superb intranuclear inclusion, the grooving is there, the grooving is there, the papillary fragments and everything, right? So when we did an IHC on the same cell block, this is actually TTF1. That's a beautiful positive TTF1, right? Actually, it's not required for me to do TTF1 because I have all the necessary information available here. A beautiful positive TTF1. And I will show you one more image is done, which is backside. This is an, just a uh, positive structure for backside and this is a tumor tissue here. Perfect. Okay, I'm sure that you will appreciate that backside is also positive. I'll go to the previous one. TTF1 is also positive. That makes it clear cut that, okay, this is coming from a thyroid neoplasm. That case just shared in the Telegram group and in the Instagram channel is nothing but a metastatic papillary carcinoma of thyroid in a cervical lymph node, right? Thank you guys. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Ajit. Bye-bye.